Today I'm going to teach you how to make a birch tree painting. So you can get a piece of paper, you can hold it any direction you would like. You need a piece of cardboard and a little tray of black tempera paint. Tap it in and then wipe the extra off. And you're just going to swipe the cardboard. I think I had too much black on it that time. There we go. And you can kind of experiment as you go. Doesn't really matter how much black you have, it'll still look like a great birch tree. Now we're going to do the other side of this birch tree. So you can decide how thick you would like it to look. I'm going to try to pull that a little more. Nice and slowly, trying to make your tree somewhat straight. And then start another tree. You're thinking about composition, about balancing your space, your empty space. You can even go back and redo, flip your cardboard, whatever you need to do. Flip your paper to do the other side of your tree. You can make your trees as thick or as skinny as you would like. I'm going to add one behind this one. This one's going to be a little skinnier. I'm going to try to spread that black out a little bit. It's hard to get these little corners, but I'm just using the corner of the cardboard to kind of fill that in. Like that. Now I'm going to put one in this empty space over here. Let's try this behind it. Flip the cardboard, pull that out a little more. No, nothing in nature is perfect. So none of these trees are going to look perfect or the same. There's nothing, nothing is perfect. You're just making trees the best you can. I may even add a little branch to this tree. I think I'll put it right here. Oop, that's a little thicker than I wanted to, but that's all right. go. Okay, my composition looks pretty full. Now you can get the temper cakes and oh, first we need to make the little branches. And you can make little twig branches like this. That's fine. If you would like to thicken them up a little bit, you may. If you would like to use cardboard to create these little branches, you may do that too. And just do the same technique, but with a the shorter end of the cardboard. You can make branches go all the way down if you would like. It depends on your picture. If you are doing grass, then you might want to leave the branches up near the top. If you're not showing the grass, then you could fill up the whole thing up with branches. It depends on what you're trying to do. I'm going to start with yellow only because it's the lightest color. And you're going to dab one direction and then flip your brush and dab the other direction. It just makes the leaves a different shape. And continue wherever you have your branches. Back and forth, flip and flop. You're making a texture of leaves and color at the top. You could even have some of the leaves overlapping your trees. Now I'm going to add in some orange, not everywhere, just a little here, a little clump of orange, and maybe a little clump over here. And the same thing with the red. I'm not going to add too much red, but that's up to me, and then that's up to you. 
Now I think I am going to add grass at the bottom here. You can add it however you would like. I'm going to try to do the texture up and down so it looks like grass. And you could make your grass go as high as you would like. Your horizon line can be as high as you would like. And you could even paint the rest of that white space blue for sky if you wanted to. Totally up to you. I hope you have fun painting a birch tree painting.